this is the difference between a successful business that can scale and can systemize versus a business that will stay really mm -hmm. small. And it, it's very, it's a simple thing, but it's not so simple. It's about a mindset shift, um, about be, moving from being a salesperson to a business builder. Now, I can talk about this from first-hand experience because when I was running my recruitment business and sort of hitting a brick wall for the first three years, we, we couldn't figure out how to, to scale. We had all sorts of nightmares with people and, you know, things not working as we wanted. And my approach to that was I'll just sell more. You know, I'll become a better salesperson. I will just, you know, make more placements. But you can't scale on that because me selling more is not going to solve the issue. And I remember at the time I had a, a brilliant coach and she said to me, Nikki, you need to make a decision. Do you want to become and stay small or, or stay a great salesperson or do you want to build a multi-million pound business and actually become a business builder? She said, because you need to make that decision now and put to bed the, and for, for, I mean, I liked selling because it, it made me feel good. And at the time, I didn't have the skills to coach and manage and grow a team. So every time I spent time with the team, it would frustrate me. But I wasn't putting my all into that. I actually was um, focusing on, on my clients and my candidates. And so I had to make a decision. I remember it. We were having a session, and I just um, said, I need to just take a break. Went to, went to the loo, looked in the mirror, and I was like, what do I want? What do I want? Who do I need to become in order to, to shift this? And I remember making a decision I want I want to build a multi-million pound business and I know I'm not going to do that by just being a salesperson so you need to make a conscious decision that you are going to scale through others rather than just scale through yourself and in order to scale through others you need to get what's in your head out into a process of which somebody else can then pick that up and and and, and follow it but you need to make the decision first and foremost do I want, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong, by the way, with with still being like the main salesperson, other than the fact it's exhausting. And you could probably do it for a certain amount of time before you get bored or you get frustrated or you, you just, you get stuck in a role that you can never escape because if you're on holiday, you still have clients and candidates phoning you. If you're... I can remember, you know, we were planning for a wedding and I had like clients phoning. It's just like, what, you know, what am I doing? So it's, that needs to be a decision that you, you're you going to make. I, I This is really important. I shift that because if you don't shift that mindset, then you will never scale um, a big business.